good morning and happy Tuesday. I know this is much earlier in the week that I'm used to recording my vlogs, but I thought today would be important for you to see because my district is actually planning a virtual back to school night. It's not going to be synchronous. Instead, what we're doing is uploading our videos to Flipgrid. It's a less than 10 minute video. And really what we wanna do is just convey to the parents the information that they need for their students to be successful and how the format of the class is going to run. But I'm gonna be spending some time today creating those videos. I wanna show you exactly what it looks like and maybe your district could adopt the same thing if you're not really sure how you're gonna do back to school night. I'm just about to head into my AP classes, but I wanted to hop on here really quick and tell you I've spent my prep period working on both sets of slides for my videos for back to school night. I'm going to share those with you and share the differences between the college prep and the AP. So just so that you can kind of see how they'll be different. They look similar, but there are different pieces of content included in each. But for right now, I have two AP classes back to back. I have my ninth period and my 10th period. And then after school, I have lunch. So maybe I'll show you it then and then I have office hours. So it's a little bit of a packed day, but I will definitely show you what I'm doing. I also made some improvements to the AP class, which I will show you a little bit later as well. This is an example of the CP chemistry slide. Some of the information in the CP and the AP is very similar. So for example, I've got an about me section, how to get extra help. This is a good slide, especially if you have a lot of different codes that you put inside your grading program. So I use, um, depending on the assignment, I'll use numerical values, checks, and I talk about the importance of formative assessments on this slide. This is something that I use on the first day of school that I also want to talk to the parents about so they get a clear picture of what the classroom looks like online. And then finally, in both classes, I gave a virtual tour. The AP slideshow looks really similar. The only difference I would say with the AP slideshow is that, um, so I've got all of that stuff. They've got course information. I just wanted the parents to know that this is supposed to be the equivalent of a freshman college chemistry class and when the AP exam is going to be. Um, I talk about extra help again, but then I also wanted to emphasize the different types of assignments and how they contribute to the student's overall success in the course. So I emphasize, for example, that the chapter outlines are going to help with student understanding, especially when they're completing ed puzzles. At this point, I'm having my students outline the chapter and then completing an ed puzzle video. That way they only have to embellish their notes as opposed to writing everything down in the ed puzzle. This slide is the exact same one in the in the CP chemistry one. This is also the same slide. And then I gave another virtual classroom tour. With the virtual classroom tours, I just gave them a tour of the website. So I showed them all the different materials that are available to the students. Welcome to AP Chemistry. My name is Karen Randazzo and your students may refer to me as Miss Randazzo or Miss R. I just finished recording my videos. Um, didn't take too, too long to do. I didn't have too many takes, so I guess that's one of the good things about constantly recording my lessons and doing YouTube and stuff. I actually am pretty good at being able to kind of piece things together, but now what I'm doing is I'm editing. So just so you know, I created a PowerPoint presentation in Google Slides, which I'll show you what those look like in a minute. And then I also um, would narrate over them using Screencastify. So I use Screencastify and then Screencastify also allows you to edit the video as well. So I was able to put some simple edits in there. Like I was just cropping a little bit and like cutting out different pieces. And then I also added some transitions. The video is like, I would say, well, the CP video is shorter than the AP video, but the CP video is around seven minutes or so. The AP video is like right at 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish editing these and then I'll show you exactly what I did. Welcome to AP Chemistry. My name is Karen Randazzo and your students may refer to me as Miss Randazzo or Miss R. Here are some required assignments that your students will complete over the course of the year. Let's talk a little bit about the types of assessments that you'll see in Genesis. Welcome to my Google site. This is the home page. Your students will be able to access the form for office hours right here. I just realized in the last clip, I said that I use Screencastify to record my video. I always get Screencastify and Screencast-O-Matic mixed up, so I'm sorry. I actually use Screencast-O-Matic. Screencastify has a video editor. Not a fan. I really like Screencast-O-Matic a lot better, and it's pretty inexpensive for the entire year. I want to say it's like $15, so I use Screencast-O-Matic almost exclusively for everything that I'm recording. If you took my professional development with the teacher prep room, that's exactly what I use in order to create those videos. So I use Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I really like the ease of use and that I can just edit everything right inside. I can insert other video clips. So it was awesome. It was very simple to piece together. And then I just saved it as an MP4 and then I was able to upload it into Flipgrid. 
I think the videos look great. I think the parents will be really happy with the information that's presented. It was a great day overall. My students in the AP classes quizzed again today. I know it's like every time I talk to you guys, I'm quizzing an AP, but that's really how I'm getting by with the AP classes. Um, last week was okay. I wasn't a huge fan. I ended up changing up the organization of my agenda a little bit this week because I got so many questions about what is due and when. So I ended up changing the agenda so that there's actually three sections which corresponds to our three class periods so the students know exactly what we're doing on which day. The previous agenda kind of had all the assignments as like a running list and it was just kind of confusing. They didn't know what was due. So I was like, I got to do a better job at that. So I changed the agenda. So that was good. I also assigned some optional OWL review problems to the students to help with our unit on solutions. So I'm slowly but surely getting better at virtual teaching and virtual teaching AP chemistry. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, you know, my office hours have been a little quiet with students. I've had a few students here and there ask questions and whatnot, but I wish more would come in because I know more students need help and I want them to be, to know that I'm there and available. But on Friday, I will be doing some breakout rooms. So I'm excited to try that with my students. Hopefully that'll get them talking and collaborating more with each other. And it should be a really good day. So thank you so much for watching. I'm curious to see how you guys are doing your back to school nights. So if you wanna leave a comment down below to let me know how you're doing your back to school nights, I'd love to know, but I think Flipgrid is a wonderful option. It makes it really easy to record. And I love the fact that you can record in real time or you can just upload a video. It makes it simple. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to talking with you guys next week.